Uh, I was a little bit shocked, obviously, when you earn a position in the Olympics. It's a great honor to go and race everything that you're there for. Uh, Gilmore and uh, Denny are very close, uh, close friends as well. So I think uh, from the time that Gilmore earned that position, he probably thought, uh, you know, obviously that Denny would be the right person to do it based on his history and ability to do well in the distance. Uh, that being said, in sport, when you earn a position, you've earned it, and uh, it's something you want to try to do. So uh, definitely a very generous thing that Gilmore did. For sure, Denny took that opportunity for the best of it. Like, I, like he was probably extremely thankful he was getting that chance from his teammate. And I mean, like, speed skaters, like any other team, it's like there's a fraternity. You know, they look for each other. They want what's best for each other. And that's what Gilmore did. Basically, he just saw that there was an opportunity for Denny to do something big, you know, and to give a chance for Canada also to get another medal. So it was very, uh, a very, it's a moment in time where you know that the human spirit prevail over, you know, anything else. I didn't see it coming. I knew that the, uh, the thousand wasn't exactly Gilmore's strong, strong distance. He was more, he's more of a 500 meter sprinter. And to, to see him give up his spot for another teammate is, it was definitely a selfless act, self, selfless act that I, I couldn't imagine doing myself, personally. <laughs> I think a lot of people were really surprised by it, and a lot of people were like, why would you do that? You know, you only, you're, now you're only in the 500, but um, you know, what he did was, like Alex said, it was just so selfless and probably the most Canadian spirit act that I've <laughs> ever heard of. Like, this is for sure going to go down in history. I think it was a silver moment for uh, Denny Morrison, but it was a golden moment for uh, Gilmore.